you all likewise is going to perish. Amen. How do you know they got to repent? Every day. Every day when we wake up, we need to repent. Because sometimes we even have a bad thought. Amen. Amen. Oops. Oh, I wish she would drop dead. Oops. Oops. I wish she would get hit by a truck when she stepped off the curb. Oh, my boss worked my nerves. My Amen. Boss. My mama, I'm oh, tired of her telling oh. me to, to wash the dishes. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we must repent. You don't have to die and go to hell. God, through his son Jesus, moved past the obstacle of hell. Didn't he do it? Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Well, the crux of this lesson is on repentance. If you read verse 6 through 9, you will see the parable of the fruitless tree. The fruitless tree was an obstacle. Amen. For three years, the certain man, which was God, came looking for fruit on his tree. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Okay. Looking for fruit on his tree and found none. And you know what God said? Well, cut it down. You ain't doing nothing. It ain't no good. Cut it down. God is telling us today, if we don't bear fruit, he's going to cut us down. Yeah, all right. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Oh, but we serve a patient God. Yes. He said, give it one more year. Now, this is in the text. Mm -hmm. Give it one more year. And he says, I'll, I'll dig around it and I'll dung it. In other words, I'm going to put some manure around it. Right. Oh, sometimes we smell like a mess. Wow. <laughs> But God is just dunking us. He's getting us ready to bear some good fruit. Come on, yeah. Oh, God has given us a second chance. What kind of fruit is He looking for? Well, He's looking for a little more love. Okay, all right. A little more joy. Okay. A little more peace. Okay. A little more long suffering. A little more kindness. A little more goodness. A little more faithfulness. Gentleness and some self-control. Right. Oh, that's Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Yeah, they call it the fruits of the Spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you bearing good fruit? Look at your neighbor and ask him, are you bearing good fruit? If not, this is another chance. It's the same message, repent or you shall likewise perish. Amen. This parable is simply saying, if Fruit does not show in one's life. Judgment will come. Cut it down. Jesus, continuing on his journey, stopping at a synagogue. There was a woman who had an infirmity for 18 whole years. She was bent over. She couldn't raise herself up. Hallelujah. But she got to the church. Somebody say she got to the church. Yeah, Over oh, 18 years, she had not gazed upon the sun. She had not seen the stars of the night. She had not, she had seen face down toward the dust, walking about as if she was searching for a grave. An obstacle it was. Amen. Amen. Oh, but she got to the church. There she met Jesus. Yes, yes. There she met Jesus. You know, we got to get to the church, y'all. Uh, sometimes it'd be, uh, you know, extended period of time. Mm -hmm. But ain't God good? We oh, done got to the church. Yeah. When she got to the church, God, Jesus touched her. He said, woman, thou art loosed. Come on. Oh, he touched her. Come on. She was immediately made straight, and she began to glorify God. Amen. Amen. She was in the place. She was in the right place for her blessing. Amen. Amen. Oh, there's too many Christians out of place. Some folk won't go to church for fear of the pandemic. But they'll go anywhere else. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come
the same in them, though. Get you a good mask and put it on. Get you some sanitizer and social distance, but go to church. Yes. The Bible says, forsake not the assembly yes, of the saints. Amen. Oh, God, what's God said? He said he's going to cut you down. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Repent, or likewise. Mm -hmm. You're going to be perished. Oh, I'm journeying to my text. I have but a few minutes left. Amen. In verse 23 through 30, Jesus going through the villages and city, journeying toward Jerusalem. Some, someone asked, how many people will be saved? Jesus' response was, you better worry about yourself. Who? Hallelujah, somebody. Come on. You need to strive to enter the street. Uh, all right. uh -huh. Many will seek to get in, but won't be able to because they have too many obstacles in their way. Many come to the gate, but don't like it. There's too many obstacles. Life is an obstacle. The world is an obstacle. The flesh is an obstacle. God works isn't the right gate. They might say, I live right, but that's the wrong gate. It ain't about how you live. Amen. Jesus is the gate. No man comes unto the Father but by me, says the word. We must strive to enter the gate. Uh, Paul said, I press. Toward the mark of the high cause. Yes. Oh, I, it's a struggle to get to heaven. Amen. Amen. Jesus warned of the door is going to be shut. You're going to try to get in, and the door going to be shut. He says it's going to be too late. Right. Oh, some will be on the outside looking in. That's right. The thought they thought they had done enough. <laughs> when the door is open, it's open. But when it's shut, oh, it's, it's shut. <laughs> Surprise. You make it into heaven, oh, you got to live right. You got to die right. You got to be precious in this outside. Amen. Oh, Jesus was speaking of hell when he said there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Folks angry that they didn't get in to heaven. Oh, but God moves past all obstacles. I'm at my text. Verse 31 through 35. It said, the same day there came certain of the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Was this the good fearing, God fearing Pharisee who really loved God and did good deeds mm -hmm. to please God he loved? Or perhaps it was the fearful Pharisee mm -hmm. who did good because he was terrified of God, would strike him down with the judgment if he didn't. Right. What kind of Pharisee are you? Hallelujah. <laughs> so they said, they said, Jesus, get thee out and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. Jesus' reply was, go and tell that fox, I'm busy doing what I do. I'm casting out devils. I'm curing people. Today, tomorrow, making stops on the way to Calvary. Amen. Go and tell that fox. The idea behind calling someone a fox was to describe them as cunning but weak. Okay. Amen. A contrast between a majestic animal like a lion and a little weakly, worthless, worthless insignificant man. Mm -hmm. Pilate was insignificant. He couldn't hurt God. A fox has many characteristics. They're solitary. They stick to themselves. They are sly. They are mischief tricksters. A fox has many colors. There's a red fox. There's a black fox. A white fox. There's a tree fox. They're destructive. They are cunning, and they wear many hats. They blend in, in other words. Yeah. <laughs> they will tell the church. In a heartbeat. Yes, Lord. In a heartbeat. Go tell that fox. They will tell the family. Come on. They'll tell the marriage. Come on. 
a fox to get into your house in a minute. In a minute, come on. Jesus say, go and tell that fox, I don't need no light to see from you. Go and tell that fox, what goes on in the dark will come to the light. Go and tell that fox, your arms are a little bit too short to box the dog. Go and tell that fox, I'm going to reach my goal. I will be, it will be on the third day. It'll be resurrection morning. My purpose will be accomplished. Nothing will be undone. Maybe you didn't get the message, Foxy. Oh, but I must stop at Mount Calvary. Where there's a cross waiting for me. I'm going to do my own committal. Oh, can't you hear Jesus say it into thy hands? Come on. I commit my spirit. He did his own committal. Hallelujah. And then he says, I'm going to give up the ghosts. Ain't God all right today? He said, then I'm going to stop by the grave. I won't be staying there very long. Amen. God will move me past this obstacle. Amen. A rock behind a rock. He's going to move the stone away. Y'all heard it read that before, I know. Oh, I'm getting it. He says, I'm going to go tell that fox. I'm getting up out of the grave with all power and heaven and earth in my hand. Ain't God all right? Hands, 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 hands that can save anybody. Hands that can move all obstacles. Hands of righteousness. Hands that calm the raging sea. Hands that steal the waters. Ain't God all right today? God, somebody say God. God can move all obstacles. He can move past cancer. He can move past illness. Some 55th. Okay. She 
came up the stairs to beat me down. And I know she was gonna beat me down because that's how my mama was. And I went out the window. I was on the second floor. I jumped out the window. I was, I was cuckoo. She chased me down the street. If she could have got her hands on me, she could have killed me. But that was just an obstacle. I have overcame that God has brought me past that obstacle. I praise God for that. I praise God for that. A lot of people can come back from that stuff. We've been through something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God gave us a second chance. Yes, he did. He gave us a chance to pass some good fruit. Yes, Amen. 